Hilton and this is a two quick and easy cards using the Simon Says Stamp April 2016 card kit. Let's start with our unboxing. Inside this month's Simon Says Stamp box, of course we have our idea guide and Simple Stories Life in Color plastic clips. Very cute. We have eight sheets of Simple Stories Life in Color stickers. Uh, I really like these stickers and they match perfectly with the colors and the theme. It's the same theme as the clips and the paper. Love those little conversation stickers. And then we have the Simple Stories six by six sheets of paper. Oh, and our lollipop. really really like the colors on this and the fact that there are things that you can cut apart some of the squares I love the wooden accents on some of the papers just a really pretty set this month picturing a lot of things that we can do with it this month and of course that's always they're double-sided this one's my favorite I have to admit it's like one of my favorites with the wooden backgrounds and then we have Simon Says Stamp Birthday Flowers Clear Stamp Set. Really like this. This is very versatile. Um, There's some background stamps in there. We've got Wild Black Embossing Powder. And Simon Says Stamp Cardstock in Schoolhouse Red, Black, White, Cotton Candy, and Surf Blue. And the Simon Says Stamp Cardstock is really sturdy. Let's put it all back in the box. And create something pretty. Let's go. So I'm gonna start out making a very simple card on a white cardstock A2 top fold card. I've used post-it notes to mask off an area and I am going to use the polka dot uh, clear stamp to create a background but before I do so I created a mask for the sentiment birthday wishes and place that on my card as well I want a place to stamp that afterwards and I used my Versamark mini ink pad you see me adding a little bit of Versamark ink there and I am going to just randomly stamp these dots all over that section of the card now you can see my distress inks lined up there they match really well with the colors in these papers and the colors of Distress Ink set you'll see me use are Barn Door, Fossilized Amber, Evergreen Bow, Spun Sugar, and Shabby Shutters. Now that I have this all stamped with Versamark, we're going to take that black embossing powder and we're going to cover that completely up, put it into my little uh, embossing plastic container that has the spout that makes it easy to pour it back in. Love that thing. And once I've done that, I'm going to take my heat gun and heat emboss those dots. And I really love this black embossing powder, although I will state that it's a little more difficult to work with than some of the other embossing powders I've used, especially if you're doing black on white like I did. Um, I would suggest using one of the static tools the stamping tools that will keep the, the you'll see as you look at my card that there are some little spots where obviously it had stuck to the paper little flecks of the black embossing powder so you will want to use one of those tools if that's important to you I really didn't care that there were some little flecks I kind of thought it looked funky and I was alright with it but if you want a really clear um, impression without those flecks then make sure you use that tool You'll see that I did the sentiment birthday wishes uh, in the Versamark ink and then put the black embossing powder on that as well and put my embossing powder away and then I tried to take a brush and get rid of some of the, the, the overflow there that <clears throat> uh, was there and then heat embossed the sentiment and even with those little flecks it came out looking really really pretty. Um, that black embossing powder is really sharp looking and then I just took a simple quarter inch slice of black cardstock, uh, put some of my score tape on the back, and 
separated that card between the white top and my polka dot embossed background. You'll see me adhere it and then I'm going to flip the card over and I'm going to just trim it with scissors. Clean up any stray flecks of embossing powder and it's time to get those stamps out and I'm using the Lines stamp and I use the Shabby Shutters Green and these are going to be flower stems. <clears throat> So once I've got those stamped all the way across that black border, then in the different colors of Distress Inks, I am going to stamp one of the small solid flowers. Just gonna stamp them across there looking like they're on those stems. After I do this bluish green with the evergreen bow, I actually create a small mask, <clears throat> several small masks so that I can do the sponge sugar in between some of them. So I just did it with a post-it note. And then with my Memento Tuxedo Black, I'm gonna take the little dot centers. Well, first I used the shabby shutters and did some leaves. Um, just popped in a few of the leaves with one of the small solid leaves on the top and on the bottom. And then took the dot centers for the flowers and my Memento Tuxedo Black and just added some centers to my flowers. Once that was done, I just took my uh, Pitt Black India Ink Pen and outlined the flowers and the leaves <clears throat> and also ran a line next to all of those stems just to give it some pop on the back of that white paper. Really, really like this stamp set. Love the fact that these colors of the Distress Inks really coordinated so well with the Simple Stories Life in Color set. It, it was almost like they were meant to go together. Really pretty. So then I like to add something to the inside of my cards. So I took the large flower stamp and the sponge sugar <clears throat> ink and I put a flower on there, took the large open leaf and shabby shutters, which there I am off the camera again. I'm still having a rough time getting uh, the placement completely right. I apologize for that. So I put some, some leaves on there as well. And then I'm gonna take one of the sentiments that um, is on the black block background, kind of looks like um, it's the white lettering on the black and it just says happy birthday and I'm going and I curved that. I just kind of like to do that. I like to curve it around and then use my pit pen again just to outline. And it says happy birthday over the flower so that when the recipient gets it, not only is it pretty on the outside, but it coordinates on the inside as well. And I just kind of like to do that. I also took my white jelly roll pen and touched up the happy birthday. Now on to the second card. I simply created a Black, took the black cardstock and made a square or a rectangle slightly smaller than my card and then took the Simple Stories paper and I got one with the floral at, with the wooden background and then the yellow diagonal paper and I just took a couple of strips and adhered them together and then adhered it to the black cardstock. And I love the way the black really makes those colors pop and um, just looks really pretty. Just love the, the colors together. Using my score tape again, one of my favorite things to use, my score tape. And I'm just gonna adhere it with that score tape. I had a little bit of score tape up at the top, so I just took one of my erasers and erased and pulled at some of the, at that adhesive to pull that off from there. Now I'm going to take the Hello sticker and I'm going to take the sticky off it because I'm going to pop that up with some foam dots. Now 
Love the looks of these stickers. They've got that hand lettered look um, that is so popular right now and is really such a cool look. This makes it super easy. No stamping. You just get the sticker, pop it up a little bit, and it's going to say hello. And then I just took some stickers that match the floral and added a couple of them on there just to give it a little more pop on that black and just to coordinate it with the paper that was on the other side. And then I decided that I wanted to use a black and white Baker's Twine uh, addition at the bottom. So I had seen Jennifer McGuire do this. She took her um, her circle punch and she did a half circle on each side so that it fit into the side of the card and didn't slide around just kind of had a place to stay and so I learned from her I learned a lot from her and uh, so that's what I did so that I could uh, get my twine in, the, in there and it would have like its own little home so that it would stay put right where I wanted it to on the card so I just tied a simple bow and trim the ends. And I really like the black and white Baker's twine, the look of it um, with every all of the other elements on this card. Then I took my half inch score tape this time and apply and I'm gonna apply it to the back of that panel. I'm gonna apply it right over the Baker's twine. That's gonna keep that's gonna help keep that in place too and keep it from moving. Just gonna pop that over that and peel off the backing and adhere it to the front of my card. And of course, I've got to add something to the inside. So I find one of the little flowers in the blue color. And I'm going to put that in there. And then from my Tim Holtz Crazy Talk set, I just chose a Thinking of You stamp. And I'm just going to stamp it in there with my Memento Tuxedo Black. And we've got a coordinating inside. And that's it. That's how quick and easy it was to create two cards with the April 2016 Simon Says Stamp card kit. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have suggestions for some videos that you'd like to see, hop on over to artfulgeekgirl.com and leave me a suggestion. Also, I would all of the materials that I use in my step-by-step -step videos will also appear on my blog post that goes with this video. So make sure you drop by the blog as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.